I don't know if you know what I do for a living, yes. but I'm able to communicate with people that have passed away. Yeah. And I don't know who was speaking to me, but I heard you need to be patient and just kind of trust the process, but also trust yourself. I don't know who I'm talking to yet, but I don't know. Well, I may, may, maybe we'll find out. <clears throat> Sorry. So as soon as I walked into the cafe, I immediately felt a grandparent, but I had no idea who it belonged to. Like, it's so weird. I felt like there was a grandmother speaking to her. But then I felt like it was Graham. I literally felt and saw Graham. When we were driving here, I kept getting like deja vu. And I just, I feel, I don't feel right. I feel very heavy. I feel weird. I feel very emotional. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? I don't know. What's the matter? Is everything okay? What happened? What happened? What happened? Why are you crying? Tell me. Well, if you were talking about Graham and she said you have to have patience, it makes sense. Oh my God! I'm gonna be a grandma. Oh my God, this is Victoria. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, I'm so happy for you. Oh my God, Michalina is not, oh my God, I'm so sorry. But Victoria's having another baby. I mean, I just got this rush of love. I was also relieved that she was pregnant. Now it makes sense. My grandmother's saying have patience because Vic has been trying to have another baby. I don't know if Michalina's gonna like this. No, she's not. Oh, Michalina might have to come live with grandma. That's fine. I don't even know what to say right now. I don't now. even know what to say either. This morning, Michael was sleeping, and I had Michalina give him the test, and she goes, Daddy, big sister, big sister. sister. I said, then what is mommy gonna have? And then she said, sister baby, sister baby. Sister baby? Big one. You're gonna be a big sister? Oh. Right there. Right there. You're gonna be a what? <laughs> You're gonna be a what? You gotta tell Grandma and Pa. I wanna oh. get Michalina a shirt that says big sister. Yeah, and just have Michalina walk in the house with the shirt on. I think it might be a boy. Once I find something out, I have to tell my mom. And like, I have to tell her at that exact moment. Like, I can't wait. There's no waiting. Th there actually is no waiting, no. All right, we got a lot of, a lot of things to do. Come on. <laughs> I just have to say this because oh. when I walked in here, I was like, I just felt grandparents' grandparents did your grandfather speak another language or something? Yes. Yeah, because he, he keeps going like this to me, That's and I'm going, what are you doing? He's going, don't you understand me? So I go, of course oh I understand. God, that's what he says. <laughs> it's very him. So, so just know that he's proud of you. Teresa Chan, my grandfather, Raphael, who I actually named my cafe after. My grandpa was the cutest, smallest man. <laughs> my grandpa was just like my happy place. Like, he was so amazing and inspirational. He came here on Ellis Island from Sicily when he was 16 years old and really with nothing. And he built an amazing life for our family here. And I wouldn't be here without him today. I just have to say this because oh. when I walked in here, I was like, I just felt grandparents' grandparents. Who's, who's the mom figure for you that's departed? Mom would be grandmother? My grandma recently okay. passed away. So Very know that you. your grandmother is stepping forward? You have like her jewelry. I'm wearing her necklace. Oh, real? That's her necklace? Perfect. So know that she knows that you're wearing her jewelry. So know that she knows that you're wearing her necklace. Know that she wants to thank you for keeping those things. Mm -hmm. My grandma, she was awesome. Um, she loved everything and all of her children. Um, my dad's one of 12, so she really had a lot of children and loved to travel as my grandpa. She was really an amazing woman. Teresa mentioned my grandma's necklace and I never take it off and it's always with me. No one really even knows I have it. I keep it underneath. 
close. So that was really awesome. Did you not get to say goodbye to her? Or do you wish that you were able to speak to her? I was with her the day before, but she wasn't really speaking. So know that she knew that you were there and nothing was left unsaid. Yeah. And that you did get to say goodbye to her. She doesn't want you to feel that you did not. Aw. She just held up a knitted blanket and placed it to the side. So that means that she's not cold anymore. She always had a blanket on her. She was always cold. So know that when her soul left the physical body, she left behind every and any disability and or ailment. She did not take it with her on the other side uh -huh. and doesn't want you to remember her in that way. I lost my grandma last year from old age. She mentioned how my grandma was moving away a blanket, like a knit blanket, and she was always cold. It would be 90 degrees out and she would have a blanket on her. So we were always putting more blankets on top of her, which really hit home. I love that your grandmother came through and acknowledged your necklace. That's so sweet. So the day after I got pregnant, I started bleeding and it was very light and I know sometimes you bleed during the beginning of pregnancy for implantation reasons and I was told to wait a day or two and see what happens. Well, as the days went on, the bleeding tended to get more and I went to the doctor and they told me that I had miscarried. For me, um, it was, it's upsetting, but I felt that knowing what my mom has done and kind of using the term, um, you know, everything happens for a reason. I'm sure that one day I will get pregnant again and I will have a healthy baby. I feel like a lot of people go through them and they just kind of push it under the rug. I'm not ashamed to, to share because it could help somebody. Let someone know that they're not alone, that it does happen. It's true, it is old school because people didn't talk about those things. Yeah. Now I think it's important, you know, we talk about this all the time, communication is the key to any, anything yeah. in life. And I am just so proud of you how you have overcome, not that it's easy, no, it but was. But you never give up. You always, you're always trying to improve yourself. And I am extremely proud of you for that. Thank you. My heart beat like a lonely she doesn't like this. She hates this.